Hello, it's Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove CRM 4.8.3. Uh, the theorem says elementary real operations do not change row space and uh, nor space of a matrix. And the first A, uh, row equivalent matrix means uh, what? It means uh, from a matrix go through a sequence of uh, row operations, okay, elementary row operations to the matrix B. And the, the two matrix have the same row space. Okay. Means uh, elementary row operation does not change the row space. And the B says uh, equivalent uh, means uh, row operation does not change the row space. And then let's look at B first because B is obvious. Okay. B is true as uh, obvious. Because the row space defined in this, okay, uh, the null space. Okay, that's the definition, right? Null space of a matrix is uh, the solution space of AX equals zero. Uh, and then uh, equivalent, row equivalent means uh, uh, row operations. And then we know a row operation does not change the solutions of AX equal zero, right? And then, okay, that's the reason. Because the row operation do not change the solution space, and therefore do not change the null space. B is true. So now let's prove A. Why row operation does not change the row space of the matrix A? Uh, first, of all, let me set up in this way. Okay, I will set up the matrix. It just has two rows, and then that's for a simplification. Okay, it's the same proof if we have more than two rows. Now, I can set up in this. Okay, two rows. The first row, the second row. Uh, I will only look at a single row operation. And then we we'll go to another. Okay, and this is a new matrix B. And you see, I only look at a single row operation. Uh, why? Because a multiple row, uh, row operation just a sequence of uh, row operations. So we look at it step by step. And uh, start from this uh, A matrix, go through one single row operation, we get a new matrix B. We look at the null space. Uh, the row space of B and the row space of A. We need to check if the row space are the same or not. See, and then we check. Or we check because the row is defined by uh, the span of the rows of the matrix, right? Or we say it this way. Okay, so we only need to verify and this is true. Why? Because if a single row operation does not change the row space, and therefore a multiple row operation does not also do not change the row space, right? And then now we break it down into three cases because we only have a three type of a row operation, and then we look at a one by one. So the first type. Uh, let me set up in this. Okay, I multiply the first row by k, uh, a non-zero number of cars. That's the first type of row operation. Therefore, I get a matrix B in this way. Right? From A to B, now we look at the span of these two rows. And the span of these two rows, are they the same? Uh, we have a theorem before, okay, it says uh, we only need to look at uh, the linear combination. If the linear combination of the left is uh, uh, the linear combination of the vector on the right and the converse are the same, and the any vector on the right side is a linear combination of the left, that's the theorem 4.3.2. And therefore, we can get a conclusion. The two spins are the same. Can you see? Now, we definitely get the result. Okay. Uh, that's the theorem 4.3.2.
So R1 is a linear combination of the right definite because K is not a zero. So the coefficient, uh, the first should be uh, reciprocal of K and the coefficient of R2 should be zero, right? And the R2 is a linear combination of this easy. The coefficient zero, he has a one. And the right side is a linear combination of the left that, that's obvious. Okay, so we prove, we check to see the two spans are the same, which means that the row space of A equal the row space of B. The, therefore, the first type does not change the row space. And then the same, we check the second type. Uh, let me set up in this. Okay, I interchange the two rows, right? Therefore, I have the matrix B as D. Okay, uh, this time we don't need any theorem. I can get this result. This is true. Why? Because the two vectors are the same. Of course, the span should be the same, right? So therefore, the second type of a row operation does not change the row space again. And then the last type. Okay, let me set up in this way. Okay, so we do this row operation. Uh, I add a K, no matter it's zero or non-zero, okay? Uh, you can say K is not a zero. Add a K times the first row to the second row. That's the third type of a row operation, right? And therefore I get this B matrix. Okay, and then the same, uh, uh, let's look at the result. Okay, is this true? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And the same by the theorem. And this is true. We only verify one. Okay. Uh, the right side is a linear combination of the left that that's obvious. So R1 is a linear combination of the right side is obvious. Okay. And only R2. And we have a little difficulty. So I can write a linear combination. See. How about the R2? Yeah, it is true because R2 equals, um, that been put a negative K times R1 plus 1 times this. Can you see, is this true? R2 is a linear combination of the right sides, right? Okay, so therefore this is true. Okay, and then we prove that three type of a row operation. All of them just keep the same row space. So that's the proof. Thank you.